This video will demonstrate the use of the Nissus Negative Pressure device. To power on the device, you locate the power button and press in on the power button. When the screen illuminates, the base menu, base screen, will show you the battery indicator, the pressure setting, the run time, and the mode of operation. Over here to the right of the pressure setting is a lock or unlock feature. You are able to lock this pump where no therapy settings can be changed. And to unlock and to lock the pump, you press and hold the up and down arrow together. The lock icon goes to lock. You can still hit the menu, but you cannot make any changes to the therapy of this device. Exit always takes you one screen back. To unlock the device, you press the up and down arrow again. Now the device is unlocked. From here, you hit the menu select button. You have four easy icons. You have therapy, you have alarm, you have settings, and you also have a troubleshooting menu. The therapy, to enter this icon, you hit highlight it in black. You hit the menu button. You have the choice of continuous or variable intermittent. To change the settings, you highlight it, hit menu select, then the blue highlight shows what pressure setting you want to set this device at. This device can be set from 40 to 200 millimeters mercury. So arrow left or right, right to increase the pressure setting. Once you get the changes per the physician order, you can hit menu or exit button. It says, do you want to accept changes? Yes or no? Comes back out to the base menu, your new pressure setting is set. Access menu again. You can go over to the alarm feature. You have leak, you have blockage, you have troubleshooting. I'll discuss troubleshooting further in this video. Leak and block alarm are the only two alarms that can be turned off on this device. You can arrow down to log display. This will show you the last 150 alarms with a date and time of the alarm. Exit always takes you one screen back. Exit again, back to the menu with the four icons. Scroll down to the setting menu. You have the choice of different options in here. The first main option is changing it from English to Spanish. You can also change the date and time. You can also reset the run time. The run time is now counter on the front of the screen. It helps to ensure patient compliance. Example, if I change the dressing today, I come back 20 hours later, and there's only 10 hours on the pump, I know this device has been turned off. To reset the run time, you arrow down to run time. You hit the menu select says, do you want to reset runtime, yes or no? Select yes, hit exit, exit takes you one screen back, exit again to the base menu. Now you can see the runtime is back at zero on this device. The fourth icon on this device is the troubleshooting menu. This is where you can read on how to rectify any alarms that occur on this device. You can pull up leak long alarm, for example. You can scroll down and walk through step-by-step -step instructions on how to rectify the alarm. Hit exit back. As discussed earlier, with the troubleshooting menu, you have the ability to read how to troubleshoot an alarm prior to an alarm occurring. This device will also immediately pop up the troubleshooting menu once alarm has occurred. I will show you how this function works. So when this device alarms, this device is alarming leak at this point. You have an icon in the top left hand corner. It also notifies you leak alarm, mute, yes or no. The mute button mutes the audible alarm for five minutes. If the problem is rectified within that five minutes, it will not alarm again. If the 
problem still is occurring, it'll re-alarm in five minutes. I'm going to press mute, yes. As you can see, the leak icon is still in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and the troubleshooting menu automatically displays and walks you through step-by-step step on how to rectify the alarm. You can arrow down, and each step is another point of the troubleshooting to rectify the leak alarm. Once the alarm has been rectified, the icon will disappear, pump resets, you can hit exit to return back to the main screen. To charge the device, the charging port is located on the right hand side of the pump. Please only use the supply charger with your pump. You will plug in the device. You'll see a blue light illuminating below the power button indicating that it's plugged into AC power. And next to the battery indicator, you will see a lightning bolt displayed indicating the pump is receiving a charge. To power off the device, you have to press and hold the power button for two to three seconds. Then the countdown begins. Three, two, one. Now the device is powered off.